I'm here as F. What about you guys? No, just me. Hey guys, it's Chandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. We are going to be talking about hair removal. I am hairy as I don't know what. Just naturally, I don't know what I did to get this, but it is what it is. And I'm going to show you my way of dealing with it and how I'm just like so much more confident now that I've learned this process and found a tool. I've been using this for about 10 years now. So your girl is tried and true. This is something that I highly believe in and recommend and it's an epilator. Obviously go ahead and hit the subscription button so you can be a part of the family. Hello, what are you waiting for? I'll wait for you, go ahead. And hit the notification bell where you're at it. Thank you. Gonna be honest with you, I know how I became so hairy, all right? I, whenever, whenever I was younger, my ass decided to shave my like entire body because I hated my hair on my arms. I was seeing like my friends have like smooth skin, didn't have to do anything. And then I'm going around looking hairy as I don't know what. So I'm like, okay, let me fix this. And I just went home, razor, shaved up everything, my stomach, my badge, my arms, my back, my legs, my toes, all of it, okay? So dumb, don't know why I did it, but then I went ahead and was like, okay, well the hair grew back, let me try it again. The second time screwed me. So if you have, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably have tried to shave, but if you're new and like younger, I would recommend if you're going to shave something, just do it one time. This is from my experience. That second time really did me dirty. Um, and my hair grew back thicker and I was, I was so self-conscious. Like I just would never show my stomach. I would wear jackets all the time, even when it was like hot, like I would still just cover up. So I did nair for a long time, but then I realized like, okay, you have hair everywhere on your body. And if you nair your arms, then like I have like back hair, right? It's not crazy or anything, but you can still see like some of it. And it would just be from like, oh, it would be bald on my shoulder and then my back would be hairy. So that just looks crazy. I would do it because, you know, desperate times calls for desperate measures. So I did that all through like middle and high school. And then I came across an epilator and Lord, we in there baby it made me so much more like good and comfortable with myself um because I don't like it being just like naked one spot and then hair on another spot and I do have hair everywhere like I have hair on my chest you can see some on my face you can see it ev everywhere so why am I going to just be bald in certain areas that just doesn't make any sense and like on my stomach, I have like peach fuzz on like the sides, but I was more so concerned uh, with my happy trail. So, epilator, epilator, pow. This, I've had the same one for a long time. Probably should get a new one, um, but it still works up for me. And I think I got it from like Walmart or Target. Um, I'm gonna, link something like from Amazon if they if I can find one for you guys but they last a long time mine has a cord so you literally just hook it up and go on it and there's like two different levels it does hurt a little bit but your body just becomes used to it and after a while it just you can't even feel anything it's just like when you pluck your eyebrows or like get threaded or whatever, the first time it hurts, but then after a while you're just like, okay, this is nothing. So, um, 
that is my main tool. I will show you guys the demonstration of what I do. I start off with my normal, just like body routine. I use Dr. Bronner soap, peppermint's my favorite. And then I use an African net sponge to really scrub good. I do this all over my body, but when I'm going to epilate my stomach, I really focus to make sure that I'm getting all the dirt out. And this helps with just like exfoliating. Um, next, I go in with my sugar scrub, which this is a part of my daily routine as well. Um, if you guys have already watched my videos on like hygiene and body skin care and all that i'll link some below so those are like my three main it's like the foundation right this freaking lawnmower i could have sworn they already did it Okay, so once I'm out of the shower and dried and stuff like that, I then get to epilating. And it's really easy. You literally just use it like it's uh, like hair clippers, you know, like you get, get in there, pull your skin if you have to, and then you're just like gliding through like this. And then you'll see it pick up the hair um, and then after that, I use 10 skin so I can prevent any ingrowths from coming in and it's kind of like an aftershave type of thing, you know, like how guys put it on their face after they shave, put this on, holy grail, get it girl, get it girl, for your bikini area too. If you haven't seen my video about that, I will list it or in a card or below, check it out. You girl has come a long way. Um, and then after I use the 10 skin, I then finish up with raw shea butter and that is all it is. And it's so good. Like this routine, it makes you look natural. Like I don't believe in looking like I don't have any hair when I already have hair, you know? Um, so literally the epilator you can just go through a little bit and then it'll take off little bits at a time or you can go level two and really get in there and get all the hair up but it doesn't look so drastic as like the hair removals cream and like shaving and stuff it just looks so natural to me so that's why i love it um and when the hair grows back um, it grows, it's not like all at once. So that's another thing that I really enjoy about the epilator. It's like a casual, like I just do it about every one and a half to two weeks and I'm good. Um, it takes literally no time at all and your body gets used to it. So doesn't go in any thicker when it's growing back out. You feel smooth, but you still are not like catfishing out there. You're still looking like your normal self, like you have some hair, but just not crazy amount of hair like you probably naturally have. Well, like I naturally have. Um, but I hope that you guys use this out, try it. Let me know how it goes because it's done wonders for me for at least 10 years so i'm not lying to y'all gotta do it gotta try it out and it really just depends on what type of look you're going for but highly recommend um if you guys have not already go ahead and subscribe love you guys to the moon and back let me know what else you want me to film and i'll see you guys next time bye